Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to enable offline mode in Gmail. So if you want to review email messages even when you're not connected to the internet, I'm going to show you guys how to enable a cached copy to be saved on your computer. And then once you reconnect back to the internet, it should become resynced. And then whatever you had been working on, it should be able to be sent or received at that point. It just It's going to be basically working in offline mode as the title and topic of this video would suggest. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So all you have to do is select the gear icon up at the top right corner of the Gmail window here. And select where it says see all settings. Select the offline tab. Check mark enable offline mail. So you can enable so much storage on your hard drive so you can see how much is available for offline mail on your computer. It detects how large or how much is available on your hard drive. You can also store emails from the last so many days in there as well. And if you log out of your Gmail or your Google account, you can keep or remove offline data from your computer. And you just again would make your selection there. So I'm going to just select where it says keep offline data on my computer, save changes. And if I were to disconnect from the internet, just for an example here, Let me just disable my internet for a moment. You can see that we are offline. Some functionality may be unavailable. However, if we do refresh Gmail, we should still have access to Gmail even though we don't have internet access here. So if I were to try to go to Google, you can see we don't have internet. But Gmail still appears to be working okay because again, we are in offline mode. So again, pretty straightforward process on that, guys. As long as your hard drive has enough space to store as much as you allotted through your Gmail account, you should be fine, which should be plenty for most people. So as always, thank you for watching this brief tutorial. Do buzz will help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.